They come from different fields, leaders in education and religion, but these New Jersey scholars have an international interfaith connection. All of them have recently traveled to Turkey and say they are richer and wiser for the experience. I think probably for me as a Christian, going to Ephesus was the most powerful. The crossroads of history, seeing the place where Greeks and Romans had been. Reverend Karen Gazillo, associate pastor of the Caldwell United Methodist Church, was among those sitting down to share her experience in Turkey, where she says the faith of the Turkish people was evident everywhere she went. I would say it confirmed for me the fact that Christians, Jews, and Muslims share a common understanding that we are called to love the Lord our God with all our heart, our soul, and our might, and to love our neighbor as ourselves and that that was the key thing for me. It reaffirmed that we are called to respect, to communicate, and to reach out to one another. And in that respect, it doesn't matter what nation, what race, it is for all of us to reflect back that love of God. And that was the, really the message that I received, and it was very powerful. I've always believed it, but I saw it. I saw it in action. I saw it in the faces of the people. Pat Brannigan, executive director of the New Jersey Catholic Conference, says he was impressed with the friendliness of the people in the middle of so much history and culture. And especially for a Christian to go there, that was uh, the cradle of Christianity, you know, for hundreds and hundreds of years. And to be able to visit these uh, places that you, know, you read about in history books was, was very, very uh, nice and, and touching. Each one of our guests traveled to Turkey through the Interfaith Dialogue Center. They all went at different times of the year, but came back with some of the same rich cultural experiences. I saw this piece and I said, I just have to have it. And you're supposed to hold it like this and then you pour. And I just, and so I brought home four cups and I bought this. Alan Markowitz, director of the Graduate Studies Program at New Jersey's College of St. Elizabeth, brought back a remarkable souvenir from his trip, an ornate hand-painted urn that has come to symbolize his Turkish experience, the beauty of the country and its architecture connected to the creative and talented spirit of its people. The notion that what we think is so different is really not so different. Uh, just uh, different ways of practicing similar ideas. Um, the the uh, connectivity of the world was very s important to me, and um, Turkey, I think, represented that connectivity, uh, not only by its physical location, its architectural design, but also the diversity of practices and um, uh, institutions. Uh, so the beauty of the, the countryside matched by the beauty of the people. Linda Barat, director of the Center for Theological and Spiritual Development at the College of St. Elizabeth, is still marveling over her visit. The stinging of the sleet in Istanbul the morning that we were there in miniature to the gorgeous beaches in uh, uh, and, and Italia, uh, where we were just getting our vitamin D out in that gorgeous patio there. Like everyone in the group, she's proud of the fact that her tour put her in touch with real Turkish families in their homes, where she says the similarities and the differences in their way of life was both inspiring and informative. There was never any sense that we had to uh, agree or domesticate our differences, but that we could discuss them in, in a spirit of mutual respect was very, um, very, very fine. Overall, the group counts their trip to Turkey as once in a lifetime. Derek Dennis, Ebru News.